chemical biologists this session we're going to look at PCR which is the polymerase chain reaction now the reason why we would undergo the polymerase chain reaction is to amplify DNA so basically this, this means to make copies of the DNA the reason why you'd want to do this is for example in a forensic crime scene where you only have a short or a very small supply of the DNA uh, due to a very small blood sample left by uh, a criminal, for example, you would want to use PCR before you did any tests on that um, forensic evidence so that when you do do um, some tests on that sample, you don't destroy the only DNA evidence you've got. You need to amplify it with using the PCR first so that you've got several copies um, of that piece of DNA before you do any kind of investigation or experiments with it. So PCR works using this simple method. The first thing that you would do is heat up um, the DNA in which, which we want to replicate. You would heat that up uh, to a high temperature to break the hydrogen bonds between the bases here. That's called denaturation. So once I've got my separate strands of my DNA due to those hydrogen bonds breaking, I'd then cool the um, solution slightly. Um, the reason why I would cool the solution slightly is so that I have a primer that can be added on and join onto my base sequence that I want to replicate. Now a primer is a short sequence of DNA bases that are complementary and specific to the part of the DNA that you want to replicate. So it's normally about three to five base pairs long. Um, now once that primer has annealed or bound to my um, DNA copy that I want to make a copy of. This then allows attack polymerase enzyme to join. So it's a DNA polymerase that's taken from bacteria that grow in hot climates. So the idea here is that I can use a DNA polymerase that can work at higher temperatures to increase the speed at which I can do PCR. So once my primer has annealed, I then get my DAC-TAC polymerase joining on, which means that I can then get, um, once it's heated up to the optimum temperature for the enzyme TAC polymerase, which is the green thing here, that will then come along and join on free DNA nucleotides along the complementary base pairs to form a DNA. So this is found in extremophiles. These are the bacteria that live in hot springs so that my TAC polymerase can work at higher temperatures. So when I'm amplifying DNA, each time we undergo a PCR round, the DNA number doubles. Now you need to be able to work this out on a calculator in terms of how many DNA molecules will be there present after a certain number of replications. So in order to do that, it would be two because it's doubling every time to the power of however many times it's being duplicated. Um, so for example, after 10 cycles, it'd be two to the power of 10 strands. Um, and that's how you work it out. So that's everything that you need to know there on PCR. I hope that's helpful. If you do like it, please subscribe and like and share. Guys, good luck with your studies and all the best.